Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Borean International with me, Keith Johnston. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qadabiya Palace His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, where they discussed a number of local, regional and international topics. During the meeting, the Royal Highnesses affirmed His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's role in reinforcing relations between Bahrain and other friendly countries, stressing the government's keenness to cooperate with other countries that share Bahrain's development operations, uh, aim at promoting security and stability and combating terrorism. The Royal Highnesses affirmed that Bahrain is aware of the current challenges and that required regional and international coordination and is keen to intensify coordination and cooperation with various countries for the security and stability of the region. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Qadabiya Palace. The cabinet congratulated the winners of the UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Award for the use of information and communication technologies, commending the role of this prize in employing ICT to develop education. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed to implement 14 projects in the Southern Governorate and appointed the Ministerial Committee for Urbanisation and Infrastructure to study 11 developmental projects in the Southern Governorate, as well as speed up the completion process of three ongoing projects in the same Governorate. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister noted the importance of the 13th Middle East Conference and Exhibition on the Geological Sciences, GEO 2018, which was held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Premier and inaugurated by His Highness the Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. He also hailed the exhibition's organisation and success, as well as the increasing participation of the international oil companies and specialists in geological sciences. The Cabinet also congratulated the winners of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, BCCI's election, and affirmed the government's support to commercial and industrial sectors represented by BCCI highlighting its role in supporting the Economic Development March. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed for stricter control over some types of treatments that may be misused for purposes that they are criminalised by law. He instructed the Ministry of Health to do so in coordination with the relevant authorities. His Royal Highness also directed to take precautionary measures to prevent avian flu in the country. The Cabinet lauded at the results of the visit of His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince, First Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defence, Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud to the United Kingdom and its role in strengthening relations between the two countries. In the light of the recommendation of the Coordinating Committee, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, the Cabinet approved a draft law on reorganising and bankruptcy and referred it to the Legislative Authority. The Cabinet approved Bahrain joining the agreement to establish the Asian Investment Bank in Infrastructure and referred it to the Legislative Authority. The Cabinet approved to ratify the third protocol for the free tra trade agreement between Bahrain and the United States. The Cabinet approved to amend the Memorandum of Association and Policy of Bahrain Stock Exchange, 
which includes the addition of a mechanism for electronic registration of shares to simplify the procedures and amend the jurisdiction of the Board of Directors and Executive Management in relation to vacancies and board meetings and determining responsibilities. In order to develop the quality of health services in the government and public sector and reinforce competitiveness, control and transparency to ensure optimal utilisation of resources, the Cabinet discussed forming two national committees that include representatives from government and public health sector. The Cabinet referred to the Legislative Authority a draft law amending certain provisions of the Child Law based on the proposal of the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet discussed two proposals presented by the Council of Representatives on the stagnation of water in Lozi areas and the examination of expatriate labour. The Cabinet discussed two reports submitted by the Minister of Interior on participating in the Arab Interior Ministers' Council held in Algeria and the meeting of the Interior Ministers of the International Security Coalition held in Abu Dhabi. The Cabinet was also briefed on the report of the Minister of Foreign Affairs on the results of the 149th Ordinary Session of the Arab League Council, which was held in Cairo. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received the President of the World Jewish Congress, Mr Ronald S. Lauder, at Gadebia Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's tradition of respectful coexistence between different religions and faiths, as well as the leadership's commitment to promoting peace and stability. His Royal Highness also highlighted His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's recent royal order, establishing the King Hamad Global Centre for Peaceful Coexistence, remarking that this step reflects His Majesty's personal commitment to promoting understanding and dialogue on key interfaith issues. His Royal Highness welcomed Mr Lauder's visit to Bahrain and emphasised the importance of building bridges among cultures and faiths. For his part, the President of the Jewish Congress expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and Honorary President of Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received to their Al Wahadi Palace officials, partners and sponsors, the Supreme Organising Committee who contributed to the success of the Bahrain Strongest Man Championship. Also present at this meeting were the Chief Executive Officer of the Bahrain International Circuit, Sheikh Salman bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Assistant Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdurrahman Sadiq Asghar, and Assistant Chief of General Security for Operations and Training, Brigadier General Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Information Affairs, Mohammed Baha, and a number of officials in the ministries and representatives of companies and sponsors. The championship was held under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid and was organised by His Highness's media office at Bahrain Bay. The event's proceeds were allocated to support cancer patients, which comes as part of His Highness's initiatives of supporting sports and humanitarian fields. His Highness Sheikh Khalid welcomed the guests and conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed his thanks and appreciation to the audience for the support and this championship that witnessed the participation of 750 players and 142 participants in the main challenges, making these statistics the highest on the international scale. His Highness added that the support the event received reflects the sponsor's patriotism, evident by the facilities provided. His Highness continued to state that these initiatives aim to strengthen social ties and cooperation and emphasise patriotism among the youth as well as the encouragement to exercise sports citing it as an important way towards a disease-free life. At the end of the meeting, His Highness Sheikh Khalid honoured the partners and sponsors who contributed to the event's success, which was followed by honouring the winners of the first three positions in the photography competition, which was held on the sidelines of this tournament. His Highness also presented a commemorative gift to the President of the East Rifa Club, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, for achieving first place in the category of medium weight. For their part, the sponsors expressed the happiness for having such a role in supporting His Highness Sheikh Khalid's initiatives, citing it as a national duty that everyone should contribute in and achieve its noble goals.
Commander in Chief of the Berean Defence Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received today the General Command and Military Delegation from the Nasha Higher Military Academy from the Arab Republic of Egypt, headed by its Director General, Safat Sadiq Al Deeb, on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom. The Commander in Chief welcomed the Egyptian delegation and reviewed with them Bahraini Egyptian relations and ways of enhancing them to serve military cooperation between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, deputised Deputy Premier and Vice President of the Civil Service Board, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, to attend the graduation ceremony of the first batch of the Public Management Masters Programme, held by the Bahrain Institute for Public Administration, BIPA, in cooperation with the French Asmose University and the French National School of Administration, Thamkeen, and the University of Bahrain. Sheikh Khalid affirmed His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's keenness to support Bahraini youth as they are an essential part of the Comprehensive Development March. He affirmed launching the Public Management Masters Programme in 2016 and the graduation of his first batch reflects the keenness of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and President of the Civil Service Board, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to invest in the human capital and develop national cadres and qualify them according to the best international practices. The Deputy Premier expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for patronising the graduation ceremony of 22 employees from the public and private sectors. He noted that developing government work through various studied and organised means will have a significant impact on the development of BIPA. He added that the efforts of the Civil Service Board contribute to raising the percentage of achievement in the 2015-2018 Government Action Plan. Sheikh Khalid praised the efforts of the graduates, encouraging them to contribute in developing their work environments and contribute to the consolidation of elements of sustainability in their performance. Sheikh Khalid commended the efforts of the BIPA and the development and training programmes it provides. He also praised the Public Management Masters Programme for graduating competent, public and private sector employees. During the ceremony, the Director General of BIPA, Dr. Rahib Mohammed bin Shams, gave a speech in which he praised the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to the Public Management Masters Programme, affirming that His Royal Highness's follow-up to the progress of the government work and his vision in developing government performance was BIPA's motivation to launch this distinguished academic programme. A number of graduates also gave a briefing on the graduation projects. Sheikh Khalid then honoured the graduates of the programme.
The Government Service Centre's Evaluation Committee formed at the Directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, convened today for its fourth meeting. Chaired by the Information and E-Government Authority, the IGA, Chief Executive Officer, Mohammed Ali al Qaed. The committee reviewed and finished the evaluation process of the first batch of 47 services centres affiliated to 11 government bodies. Akid said that enhancing efficiency in government services centre is consistent with the government work programme and the outcomes of the government forum. He pointed out that the service evaluation would be an important factor for upgrading the services of the government sector through a number of development initiatives. He praised the positive feedback regarding the guide of evaluating the government services centre, which adopts the foundations of efficiency, development and the use of modern concepts in work. The committee also reviewed the mechanisms for facilitating the logistics work of the team and discussed the developments of the online system, supporting the evaluation process.